12-year-old Oleg and his grandma Alexandra are walking around New York, so far from home, and with everything they are used to being far away, everything around them leaves strong impression, gigantic buildings, countless cars, and crowds of people. I like the people the most. I thought this is a huge, bustling city, gigantic buildings, lots of impressions. People, though, are kind here, treat each other kindly. In fact, they came to New York City not as tourists, but with a mission. They are here for the U.S. premiere of the documentary, which shows their life in the village of Hnutove in eastern Ukraine. I wanted people to know how we live, because many people do not believe, do not understand or know what conditions are we in. Oleksandr and Oleg are the main subjects of the documentary Distant Barking of Dogs, which was filmed by Dutch director Simon Lerenk Wilmont. The movie has already received 25 prestigious international awards, and now it was included in the Oscar nomination shortlist for documentary films. The production team started an Oscar promotional campaign in New York. Oleg is very worried before the screening, and Simon, the director of the documentary, is trying to distract him. <laughs> During the movie, the boy has to relive the terrifying events of his life once again. The main subjects of the film come to the stage to tell applauding viewers about the war and the movie. We became friends with these people and I liked them a lot. A woman from Luhansk is also in the audience. She had to leave her home because of the war. I just want to greet my compatriots and wish them all the best. I am from Luhansk myself and I cannot live under the occupation. Russian world brought a lot of grief to us. After the screening, Oleg's grandmother, Oleksandra, concedes that watching the film this time was much harder than the other times she has seen it. I've seen this movie many times, but today it was somehow special. My eyes were tearing up all the time. For some reason I wanted to cry till the end of the movie. In just a few days, Oleg and Oleksandra will return back to Hnutove, where the war is raging in real life and not on screen. Me. We're afraid that the shellings will intensify any minute, or that a shell might, God forbid, hit our house. But they are saying that, despite their fears, they will not abandon their home. We are not going to go anywhere. We'll stay there till the end. I think that when it ends, there will be no better place than home. The subjects of the documentary are trying to tell as many people as possible about the war. After this screening in New York City, two more of the distant barking of dogs will be held. The Oscar nominations will be announced on January 22nd, reported by Olha Volinets, UATV.